In 1992, in Arizona, Dr. Tim Helen Jarris pushes the limits of forensic botany in the murder investigation of Denise Johnson. The only evidence are two Palo Verde seed pods found in the back of Mark Bogan's truck, who remains the only suspect. Helen Jarris must extract DNA material from the pods to see if he can genetically match it to a tree where the victim's body was found. It's never been done before, and it might not even be possible. Normally, Helen Jarris would get DNA from the leaves of a plant, a common procedure. Unfortunately, there's no existing map of the genetic sequence of these Palo Verde pods, and fully mapping them could take years. Instead, he uses a new technique that focuses on smaller, random sections of genetic code. By comparing these sections in different pods, he can easily see if they're the same or not. The process is known as random amplification of polymorphic DNA, or RAPD. Using this approach, we don't have to have any ongoing or initial set of knowledge about the samples we're going to work on. We didn't have the months or years that we would have spent on some of our other projects. Uh, they needed this quickly for the trial. After three long months of painstaking work, the results come in. Helen Jarris discovers that the DNA of each individual Palo Verde tree is unique. Matching a particular pod to a given tree is just as precise as matching someone's hair to their skin. It was exciting to see a lot of variation between samples. We could tell every tree apart very quickly. Now he's going to take all he's learned and apply it to the evidence. But to do so, he'll have to destroy the pods to get their DNA. Helen Jarris only gets one shot because the pods will be destroyed. Three months of work to get to this moment. And he quickly finds that there's a match. It was really exhilarating that the tree matched the two samples and uh, a little surprising. We didn't think this was going to work from the very beginning. I was certainly blown away when he said, yes, there is a match. I thought, you know, this is incredible. It's a modern day forensic first. Dr. Helen Jarris is the first scientist to successfully prove plant paternity genetically. Not only are all Palo Verde trees distinct individuals, but these humble life forms have significantly more DNA than humans. They fall into a class of plants with a high degree of genetic variation, as opposed to some other species of plants, which are almost impossible to tell apart. Before this particular case, I couldn't even imagine how plant DNA would be used in a criminal trial. It essentially helped bring a murderer to justice. Bogan is found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison.